And now, program three in the course Quantum Mechanics of Molecular Energy, presented by Dr. Cornelius Grogan. The, uh, the calculation of, of, of molecular energies is, 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 is complicated by the fact that the wave function is um, not calculable for um, any molecule that's bigger than two atoms, and therefore um, it's necessary to use what one might call arbitrary or we prefer to use the phrase empirical energy functions. Now, um, this calculation has been done in a number of cases, and the quantities that we're, we're going to be calculating are... Um, residue 1 is, um, is at uh, 3.665, 27.581, 3.547, and has a temperature factor of 27.21. When you place that on the Cartesian coordinates here, um, then obviously you can calculate the vector products and also, of course, the scalar product, which gives you the interatomic distances. But of course, you'll all be familiar with that from... Professor uh, um, Dr. Pierce Muller, um, and 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 I don't need to say any more about that. Now, the actually Professor Pierce Muller was telling me the other day about an incident that happened when um, when uh, Professor Sir David Phillips was our external examiner, and. Um, uh, at dinner one evening, he told us a wonderful story about an Italian dwarf in the Mont Blanc tunnel. But um, since there are ladies present, I think I'd better carry on with the, uh, the exposition. The, the, the quantum mechanics here is, is clearly um, understandable in terms of the potential box that the particle is in. If you do the triple integral here and take the average value, I'm sure... Oh, um, yes, yeah. uh, better. Um, if we do the triple integrals, you'll see that clearly the um, 
the function can be expressed in terms of these three sine functions and if then we separate out the variables um, you'll find that we can Um, we, we can we can separate the variables, um, and therefore um, this 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 version of the Schrödinger equation can actually be expressed um, in terms of the three terms, which um, then can be separated as you see here. And after that, um, solving this, the phi equation is, is very simple. So now, I'm sure that. Um, when that comes up in the exam, you will be able to do the calculation. Here's the, uh, the energy function, and that will be what we need to say about that. Um, now, um, sorry, now that's a stupid question. I won't ask that, that. You just have to ask someone else that. that. We, we, we now want really to, to try and derive that wave function um, so that if we express that integral um, will be that psi is some function which looks more or less like that. Uh, if you've got that down, we can move on and then the energy calculations will, will follow quite naturally, of course. Um, I think that's all we have time for this morning, so um, I'll see you all again next week.